workmen who are now steadily supplying that demand. The scene is set at the Odeon Theatre Surbiton for the inauguration of Warship Week. Surbiton, as the first borough in the county of Surrey to launch its warship scheme, is privileged to have the First Lord of the Admiralty present to take the salute at an imposing march past. Then back to the Odeon for a speech by Mr. A.V. Alexander, in which he had many pungent remarks to make of much importance to the country at large. Every day and every night since September the 3rd, 1939, the Navy has been fighting in the war at sea. It has suffered many casualties in ships and men. The casualties must be replaced. We must have more ships, more guns, more planes, more planes for the gallant pilots of the fleet air arm. The Navy has never once let the nation down in this war. We must not let the Navy down. <laughs> I promised them last Saturday in Liverpool that the Royal Navy would soon begin to avenge the Ark Royal, and by Sunday morning we'd done it. Yeah. And so, I'm in the mood to stimulate you. So let's have your money. We must, of course, lend our aid up to the hilt of our promises to Russia to find the weapons she needs. And to that end, we must produce what we have given up to her from our American supplies. We must produce what we have promised her from our own production. And yet, my friend, at the same time, we must produce all that is needed to keep our own expanding forces armed to the highest point of efficiency. I'd like to say, to our people all over the country. Every day of production lost is a gift to Hitler. Every hour saved in production is a shortening of the agony of the war, the achievement of victory and peace with justice, and a quicker return of our own lads to their own home. 